Hello everybody. I'm wearing my captain's hat today because our story includes someone going on a ship with a captain. More about that in a little while. Can you believe it? It's July already. I suppose other years by this time a lot of us might have been excited about going on holidays. But maybe this year some of us will have to stay at home a bit more. Anyway, whether we manage to get away or whether we stay at home, I hope we all have a great, great time. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a man called Jonah. He had to go on a ship, but it wasn't a holiday. God told him to go. And do you know what? God told him to go and visit the nastiest people on earth. These nasty, nasty, nasty people were the Ninevites, and they lived in a great big city called Nineveh. Let's listen to how Jonah's trip to Nineveh went. As you listen, see what you think the biggest thing in the story is. Jonah and the Whale This is the great city of Nineveh. From a distance, it looks like a nice place to visit. But when you reach the front door, it doesn't seem quite so friendly. When you get inside and meet the locals, you might wish you'd never come. Here is the king of Nineveh with his how far can I throw visitors over the wall machine. His record is 352 cubits, which is a long, long way. Here are some ancient carvings from Nineveh. If you are on holidays, it is best not to visit Nineveh. This is Jonah, happy at home, a long way from Nineveh. One day, God sent a message to Jonah. Dear Jonah, it said, go to the great city of Nineveh and tell them, stop being nasty or else love from God. Jonah liked the idea of God being angry with the people of Nineveh, but he did not like the idea of warning them. They might start behaving and not get in trouble anymore. Besides, he didn't want to help the king break his throwing visitors over the wall record. So Jonah hopped on a boat to Tarshish and sailed off into the sunset away from Nineveh and away from God. God sent a huge storm with big black clouds and boat breaking waves. Help! cried the captain. Save us! prayed the sailors. Snore, snore, snore went Jonah. Wake up, Jonah! yelled the captain, and pray to your God. Whose fault is this? asked the sailors as they began drawing straws. Mine, said Jonah holding the short straw. I'm running away from God, and I think God just caught up with me. You had better toss me into the sea. So the sailors grabbed Jonah by the arms and legs. One, two, three, splash, and the storm stopped. But God sent a whale to swallow Jonah. For three days and three nights, Jonah was inside the whale. It was too dark to read. Besides, he didn't have a book. He couldn't watch television because he didn't have a television. So Jonah prayed, Thanks God for saving me. I will do what you asked. Then the whale swam up to the beach and blark out popped Jonah. God sent a message to Jonah a second time. Dear Jonah, it said, did you have a nice trip? I hope you had a whale of a time. Now go to Nineveh and tell them, stop being nasty or else. Love from God. Jonah knocked on the front door of Nineveh. It opened and in he marched. Stop being nasty or else, yelled Jonah. God says, stop being nasty or else. When the king heard Jonah, he realized that while he enjoyed 
throwing visitors over the wall, it was not fun for the visitors. So the king stopped being nasty, put on his I'm sorry clothes, also called sackcloth and ashes, and asked God to forgive him. Everyone in Nineveh did the same. Here are some more ancient carvings. Jonah was furious. There wasn't going to be an or else. He stormed out of Nineveh. Jonah sat outside the city and fumed. God grew a bush to shade Jonah. Jonah was happy about the bush. The next day, God sent a worm to munch on the bush. Jonah was angry at the worm. He was also angry at Nineveh and angry at God. Then God sent another message to Jonah. Dear Jonah, it said, hot enough for you? You care about the bush that gave you shade. I care about the people, the girls and boys, and the animals in Nineveh. Shouldn't you care about them too? Lots of love, God. And Jonah thought about that and thought, and thought. What an interesting story. I wonder what you thought the biggest thing in it was. Maybe you thought it was the whale. Lots of people do, you know, and it was a pretty big fish. But then there were other big things too. The Ninevites were really, really big, big, big baddies. Jonah was given a really big job to do. And he did a really big runner to begin with when he ran off on the boat to Tarshish. Then there was the big storm. After that, there was a big U-turn because Jonah turned round and did what God wanted him to do. And don't forget the big revival when the nasty, nasty Ninevites did what God wanted them to do and they were kind. And don't forget Jonah's big huff, Jonah's big hissy fit, Jonah's big tantrum when the Ninevites did the right thing. But do you know what I think the biggest thing in the whole story was? I think the biggest thing in the story was God's love. God loved Jonah and never gave up on him. But God also loved the Ninevites and never gave up on them either. You know why? Because God loves everyone. You remember that. God loves you and God loves everyone. Now, get ready to sing and dance about that good news. I'll say bye for now and see you next week. So, bye for now. 